Hi, this is William from Great Affordable Watches and today I'm gonna review the Frederic Constant Slimline Moonface. And this is the 39mm and the reference number is FC703S3S6. So Frederic Constant released a 42mm version of this watch a couple of years ago. And Many people really loved the watch and it was a great watch, but one complaint was that it was far too big for being a dress watch. And I agree with that because 42mm for a dress watch is a bit too big, even though that watch worn a bit smaller, thanks to the short lug to lug distance and the overall shape of the case. But last year they introduced the FC03 with the new FC03 in-house movement and this movement uh, is basically a smaller version, a more compact version of the previous in-house movement that was featured in the 42mm version of the same watch. So when they announced this watch I, I was really excited because the 42mm version was a overall very good watch, a very good looking watch, but the size turned me and many other people off. This watch got, as I said, the in-house FC03 automatic movement. Uh, it got a power reserve of 42 hours and it beats at 28,800 beats per hour. It's 38.8 millimeters, so it's basically 39 millimeter. It is 11.17 millimeters thick, so it's around 0.5 millimeters thinner than the 42 millimeter version and it is water resistant down to 3 atm okay let's start with some good things about this watch i think the size is perfect for a dress watch 39 millimeters is really the sweet spot i think the case thickness is much better this time around it wears pretty slim thanks to the bowl shape of the case and also because of the very short lug to lug distance. Uh, and as we can see here, the watch got a all polished case uh, with no real finishing to it, except for the polishing. The lugs got very sharp corners here, and I think that really complements the overall round face of the dial and the round case. Also, I think the dial is very nicely made and nicely proportioned. Um, and the moon, the moon face here is uh, very nicely done with a metallic blue color, uh, which looks really nice when when the lights hit the right angle. As we can see, the, the, this watch got no second hand, and this helps with the very minimalistic aesthetic of the watch. But of course, a second hand would be very nice indeed. We can see that the dial got applied markers and a onion shaped crown. Another selling point of this watch is of course the in-house movement. And this movement is uh, of course made in-house by Frédéric Constant. And I think this is one of the better decorated movements out there together with uh, the rose gold plated rotor. And I, I think the, the, the overall design of the the movement is very nicely made and it looks very good with the rhodium plating and the perlage here and of course the blue screws. The only question I got is that uh, Freddy Constant is a pretty new brand and we haven't seen the re reliability of this uh, particular movement yet so uh, the time will tell how it will hold up. Another great feature of the movement is that the moon face is not set by any button on the case it is set with the crown and you just pull the crown to its first position and screw it so this is a very nice feature and i think it's rarely seen on uh, moon face watches actually and it's often set by a crown uh, set by a push button here on the side of the case i think they have really succeeded with the uh, with this watch especially now in 39 millimeters but there are a couple of things I don't like. Uh, the first thing is that it lacks a second hand, as I said. 
but also I'm not really fond of the case shape overall and I think it where as I'm gonna show you later it it sits more on top of your wrist than on your wrist and and I think that the lugs are a bit too short for the for the big face for the big case and I think it looks a bit weird uh, thanks to the short lug distance uh, but this is more of a preference and I prefer a more oval shape of the lugs and case together and this is more round case uh, but of course this is just preference the the strap is another great feature I think and I think this uh, this is real alligator a real alligator strap and at first I was a bit skeptical but I think it wears uh, pretty nicely actually and it feels uh, very solid and uh, not too stiff and not too soft the watch comes with a pretty constant deployant clasp and I think it's nicely made and I really like the uh, free constant logo here but it doesn't feel as solid as other uh, more high-end watches but I guess that is expect that is to be expected but it feels it doesn't feel like it's gonna break or anything but it doesn't have that solid feeling that other luxury brands have it do look very nice and uh, I don't have any major complaints about the buckle now I'm gonna try it on as we can see I think it wears very nicely on my 7 inch wrist and it wears pretty small and I think that's a really good thing uh, because a dress watch should wear small and I think the 39mm is the sweet spot here but as I said it sits a bit on top of my wrist instead of uh, on it and and it doesn't really the lugs doesn't uh, hug my wrist as uh, I'm used to on other watches and I think that's thanks to the the lug design and this is of course a just a preference uh, but th that is one thing to keep in mind other than that I think it looks very very nice uh, on my wrist and I can highly recommend this watch anyone looking for a uh, well-sized dress watch with a moon face and especially with an in-house movement one thing to keep in mind is that Free Constant is a pretty new brand and Citizen recently acquired them so it's uncertain if Citizen is gonna let uh, Free Constant continue as they are doing or if they will do some kind of rebranding but other than that I think the Slimline Moonface and especially now a 39mm is a truly fantastic watch and it offers great value for your money a, a in-house movement with a true moon face is rarely seen uh, in this price range I don't think you can go wrong with this watch if you're looking for this type of watch and I've been doing some research on uh, automatic uh, moon face dress watches and this is the only moon face with an in-house movement in this price range you can get some moon face watches with uh, modified Cilleras and ETAs but uh, no real in-house movement there are uh, watches like JLC ultra thin moon face uh, that looks uh, even better than this free constant but they cost up to seven thousand dollars so they are a lot more expensive so the free constant slimla moon face is a really one of a kind in this price range but just keep in mind what i said about uh, free constant as a brand because if free constant is no longer around in 10 or 20 or 30 years who's gonna service the the movement uh, and that's always a problem with in-house movements in general if you like this review please leave a like and subscribe to my channel and i hope i see you in the next one bye